This is a tutorial video for Unit 3 of AQA GCSE Chemistry, the Quantitative Chemistry Unit. In the previous video we introduced qualitative descriptions of concentration and calculations involving masses. In this next video we're exploring calculations where the units of concentration are moles per decimeter cubed, and it's important that you master these before you can move on to titration. By the end of this video, you should be able to calculate the concentration of a solution in moles per decimeter cubed and also calculate the mass of solute required to make a solution of a given concentration, where that concentration is given in moles per decimeter cubed. In the previous video, we saw that solutions were mixtures with two components. A solute, which is a soluble substance which is able to dissolve, something like salt or sugar or any other ionic compound you could think of. And then a solvent, which is a liquid that is able to dissolve the solute. It's the ratio between these two components that determines the concentration of the solution. If you're taking the GCSE chemistry exams, then in addition to being able to complete concentration calculations where concentration is given in grams per decimeter cubed, you also need to be able to use the units moles per decimeter cubed. As we said in the previous video, one of the nice things about concentration is that if you remember the units or if they're given in the exam paper, which they often are, then you don't actually need to remember the calculation because the units tell you what to do. That slash sign or per sign means divide. So moles per decimeter cubed tells you that you need to do the moles in moles divided by the volume in decimeters cubed and that will give you the answer of concentration. If we assume that each one of these solute particles represents one mole of solute, then we have three moles of solute. And then if we assume that the volume of this solution is six decimeters cubed, this gives me a concentration of 0.5 moles per decimeter cubed. If we have the same amount of solute in double the amount of solvent, then we would expect the concentration to half. And that's exactly what we see here. Three divided by 12 gives us 0.25 moles per decimeter cubed. Unfortunately, it's very rare to have a question this straightforward, otherwise it wouldn't be a higher tier topic. What we're more likely to see is a question that requires you to calculate the number of moles of a substance and then work out the calculation. Here's a more typical GCSE chemistry question. We're given the mass of a substance which is going to dissolve in water to produce a solution and we need to work out the concentration. Almost always in quantitative chemistry, your first step is going to be to calculate the moles of a substance. To do that here, I'm going to use the formula mass is Mr. Mole, which I can rearrange to be the number of moles is the mass divided by the relative formula mass. But I need to work out what the relative formula mass is first. So the MR of hydrogen chloride is going to be 1 times 1, because that's the relative atomic mass of hydrogen, plus 1 times 35.5, because that's the relative atomic mass of chlorine, giving me a total of 36.5 grams per mole. So. 0.73 grams divided by 36.5 grams per mole gives me 0.02 moles. And now I can complete my concentration calculation. 0.02 divided by 0.4 decimeters cubed, because of course my volume needs to be in decimeter cubed, not centimeters cubed. And that gives me a total of 0.5 moles per decimeter cubed as my concentration. Here are five more questions of the same type. If you're feeling confident, you can pause the video now, but I'll go through the first one just in case. We start off by working out the relative formula mass, which we've already done for hydrogen chloride in the previous example, 36.5. Then we use that relative formula mass together with the mass given in the question to work out the number of moles. So 12.045 divided by 36.5 gives me 0.33 moles. Then I need to divide this by the volume to work out the concentration. But of course, it's important that the volume is in decimeters cubed. So 300 centimeters cubed is 0.3 decimeters cubed. You divide by 1,000. 0.33 moles divided by 0.3 decimeters cubed gives me a concentration of 1.1 moles per decimeter cubed. Pause the video now and have a go at the next four on your own. So the relative formula mass of beryllium chloride is 80 which means that 8.32 grams is 0.104 moles. If you divide that by 0.08 decimeters cubed, you get 1.3 mole per decimeter cubed. Sodium chloride has a relative formula mass of 58.5, and 17.55 grams is 0.3 moles, and that divided by 0.4 is 0.75 moles per decimeter cubed. 
Sodium hydroxide has a relative formula mass of 40, and so 38.4 grams is 0.96 moles, and that divided by 1.2 is 0.8 mole per decimeter cubed. And then finally, sulfuric acid has a relative formula mass of 98, and so 1,372 grams is 14 moles, and that divided by 10 decimeters cubed is 1.4 moles per decimeter cubed. You also need to be able to rearrange this equation to work out moles based on concentration. So at the moment, moles is divided by volume, and to get rid of that divide by volume, we need to times by volume. So the divide and times cancel each other out, and it just disappears. And whatever we do to the right-hand side of the equation, we do to the left-hand side of the equation as well. So if I multiply both sides of the equation by volume, I end up with this. So now we can answer the question, how many moles of solute are required to make 550 centimetres cubed of 0.6 mole per decimetre cubed solution? Moles is concentration times by volume. So that's 0.6 times by 0.55, because remember that volume needs to be in decimetres cubed. That gives me an answer of 0.33 moles. You could also be asked to work out the mass of solute required to make a particular solution. We start out by calculating moles, which is concentration times by volume. 0.8 times by 0.4 gives you 0.32 moles. Now you can use the mass is Mr. Mole equation, but we need to work out what the MR of sodium chloride is. 58.5. So 58.5 times 0.32 gives you a mass of 18.72 grams. Here are five questions for you to have a go at. In each instance, you want to multiply the concentration by the volume in decimeters cubed to give the number of moles, and then multiply that by the relative formula mass of the compound to give the final mass. 0.45 times by 0.2 gives you 0.09 moles. Nitric acid has a relative formula mass of 63, and 63 times 0.09 is 5.67 grams. 0.95 moles per decimeter cubed multiplied by 0.075 gives 0.07125 moles. Zinc nitrate has a relative formula mass of 189, and that means with a bit of rounding, we need 13.5 grams. In 1400 centimetres cubed of 0.4 molar magnesium hydroxide solution, there are 0.56 moles, and magnesium hydroxide has a relative formula mass of 58, so if we multiply those together, we get a mass of 32.5. In this calcium hydroxide solution, there are 0.648 moles, and each mole has a mass of 74. This gives us a total mass of 48 grams. Finally, in ammonium hydroxide, there are 0.44 moles, and then ammonium hydroxide has a relative formula mass of 35 grams per mole, giving a final mass of 15.4. Thank you very much for watching, and well done for getting to the end of this second concentration video. Now you're ready for some calculations using balanced symbol equations. If you're finding the videos useful, then don't forget to let me know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more chemistry videos coming soon.